Hey guys, so today um, I didn't really document how I built this subwoofer, um, but there was a few short videos, but uh, this is because it was mostly a rush, uh, but I built this for Duncan Pro Sound. He does installs and sells speakers and uh, he just needed help with the manufacturing of the boxes itself. Um, and uh, this is our first uh, single 15 inch uh, subwoofer, passive subwoofer, uh, that we uh, ever made uh, for Duncan Pro Sound. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, we uh, pushed to get a grill on it. Uh, I hand built the grill uh, with a uh, shear and break that I uh, purchased really cheaply, <laughs> uh, which I will be upgrading later on. Uh, if we're making more of these. Um, and it's pretty solid. This is just a regular three quarter inch uh, plywood with a maple veneer, I believe it's on. Uh, it's not uh, Baltic birch plywood because it's ridiculously expensive. Now, if you look in the videos, uh, you see that you don't see the, 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 the pole mount cup at the top. And you don't see the handles on the side because this is going to be installed permanently in a um, a bar, I believe. Uh, so I we didn't opt to put those in because that's just extra components that the client didn't want. Um, personally, I would have put them anyways, but this is what they wanted. So uh, this is what we did. Uh, we have a 15 inch uh, sub in there. Um, we, I'm still waiting on the part at the back for the connections. That's why we never made the hole for it because I'm not exactly sure the dimensions, but that could be easily added later on uh, because it's just a, a two inch hole approximately to just drill and put in and wire the driver itself to it. So inside we did uh, put a T-nut inside for these black Allen key bolts which is a lot better than just screwing into the wood uh, we also did a recessed in for the lip as well it's a nice routered edge for the hole we added this 100% uh, cotton uh, denim insulation that we found um, I think this is pretty common in most speakers on the market uh, we found it really cheap and it's not itchy it doesn't come apart like regular insulation and it does a pretty damn good job of it uh, i put a piece up here and a piece down here i don't know if we're gonna put some on the sides yet maybe in the future we'll try it out i have a brace here that's at a 45 and i don't know if you can really see but there's a uh there's also a brace going straight to the back that's attached on the 45 right there other than that, the only other details, I added this little ramp here to screw in the grill with these screws. Same up here. And then, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the inside. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys are curious on how I built it and uh, maybe a tutorial video or something like that, uh, comment down below. Uh, I read every single comment that uh, is posted. Uh, hopefully they're all positive. And I'll respond to most of the positive ones. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, like this video if you liked it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see for future videos.